I'm basically an unschooled player, and uh, I mean, I've been trying to educate myself over the years and learn more theory, but uh, early on, I learned how to play and uh, look at the neck uh, and scales in terms of shapes, uh, reoccurring patterns and so forth, and not really knowing how they fit in theory-wise, but just that was kind of my, my groundwork for finding my way around the neck. And I still play that way. And uh, um, an example of that would possibly be uh, an A, a major sounding shape for me, would be something like, like this. <laughs> And what it is, it's usually just uh, five or six, a uh, pattern of five or six notes reoccurring over two strings uh, and then moving up to the octave and moving up again. And uh, that's where I start from and then move on from there. Um, staying with the idea of shapes, um, there's a thing Gary Moore does on one of his solos that uh, a lot of people have incorporated. Uh, into their style, and it's an open string thing with a reoccurring pattern, and it's slowly... It's <laughs> you can also play that with your using your right hand. variation that I use on that is uh, instead of playing uh, on the 10th tenth, tenth fret, I just move my pinky up to the 11th fret and change the shape to this. So it sounds like this. Another example of shapes, uh, but instead of descending and ascending across the strings, keeping the same pattern on two strings, but just continually moving it down to where it fits. Uh, kind of a retarded way of looking at it, but that's the way I learned how to play. Uh, considering we're playing an E, I would start here on the 15th, 17th, and 19th fret, and also using a little slide with my pinky, and also maybe sliding down a whole step and you hit the 15th fret on, on the B string, down to the 13th fret and back up again. So you get this kind of effect. stretch, you can pull your thumb back around the bottom of the neck. Uh, in this case, we'll use our thumb to anchor on the fifth fret, getting our pinky up to the twelfth. That would be hard to do with your first finger, but it's a lot easier to do like that. In fact, you can even get more of a reach and get that kind of a stretch. Um, and then just playing some kind of a melody. Uh, 